Hey guys and welcome back to the Blender tutorial. In today's video I'm going to be showing you how to make a very quick snowman which will look something like this. So you can see this is just very quick but we're going to be doing this today. So we can get this and then maybe put it in Unreal, turn this into an AI or something like that. We're just going to be making this quick lovely little snowman that you can see here. So what I'll do is I'll create a new file and then I'll get right into this. So when you open up Blender you'll have something which looks a lot like this. You'll just have the default cube, the camera, light, all of that. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to delete everything here. So I'll press A, X, delete. Now you can keep the camera and light if you want, but get rid of the cube. Now what we're going to do here instead is we're going to go Shift A, go to Mesh, and then we're going to get a UV sphere like so. I'm just going to scale this one up a little bit so it's like that. The sizing doesn't matter too much as you can scale it all down at the end, but just make sure that everything is scaled accordingly to each other. So I'm just going to scale this up to be a little bit like so. Then once we've got that, what I'm going to do is just move the camera up a little bit, Shift A, Mesh, get another sphere, I might keep that one as the same size, press G, Z, move it up a little bit. So what I might do is scale the bottom one up a little bit more, make it a little bit bigger, select the top one, G to Z, to move it up again. Then one final time, Shift A, Mesh, UV Sphere, G, Z to bring it all the way up here, and then S to scale it all the way down like so. So now you can see we have our basic shape of our snowman. You can customize that more for you, so change the sizes, move these down to the further in and stuff like that. Completely up to you, but you can see we now have that set up like so. So now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to give him a little top hat. So again, this is going to be very simple. If you just hit Shift A, Mesh, get a cylinder. I'm just going to drag this one all the way up like that. I'm zoom in to focus on this. And I'll just scale this down like so until I get it to the size I think I want it at. So I think that will be a good size for the top hat. So I'll just move it up a little bit again. If I press tab to go into edit mode, I'm going to face select up in the top left there and just select the bottom face like that. If I hit E to extrude and I left click straight away. Now if I hit S, you can see that I can scale that up like so. So we have a kind of basic top hat like so. Then if I just press E again to extrude and drag down a bit, you can see we've now got a nice top hat like so. And if I press tab to go back to object mode, we have this like that. If I press 1, we can go into the front view here. I'm just going to G, Z to bring it down, R, Y to rotate it like so. And then G and X to move it. So it's like that. So you can see that looks quite nice. We have a nice little top hat just sitting on top of his head like so. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add the coal. So we're going to be adding the eyes, the mouth and the buttons. So to do that is again going to be another sphere. So Shift A, Mesh, UV Sphere. And I'll just scale this all the way down. GZ to bring it up, and then GX to bring it out, or GY, sorry, to bring it out. So if I go over here, bring it out like so. I'll scale it down a little bit more, press 1, GX to move it over like that. And what I'm going to do is Control C, Control V to duplicate that, G and X to move this over here as well. Now you can see they're not fully in, so if we just select both of those by holding Shift and selecting them, GY to move them back to put them further in like so. So that looks quite good. Now we're going to get the mouth. So again, I'm going to select one, Control c Control v G, Z to move it down. I'll just move it over a bit, so GX, and scale it down like so. I'm not going to worry too much about their placement on the Y, as I'll move them all at the end. Control c Control v G, X, scale it up a bit so they're not all the same size, G, Z, like so. Control c Control v G, X, it's a very repetitive process, but the results will be quite good. Again, making them all different sizes, so scaling them up and down afterwards really gives it that more authentic and realistic touch, as obviously not every single pebble or coal or whatever you're using will look the exact same. And also if you move them so they're not all on the same level as well, that helps too, because obviously, especially if it's kids doing this, they're not going to do it perfectly, and nobody would anyway. Control C, Control V, G, X, scale it down, move this one down a bit more, and then I'll start bringing them up again like so. And I might add another one over on this side here just to really give him a nice smile like that. And I think that'd be good. Now you can see if we go over to the side here, they're not all perfectly in. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to select each individual one and then G, Y just to bring them back to really shove them into the snow like that. And there we go. Now we have a very simple eyes and smile like that. Obviously you can do that completely differently to get it perfect for you, but that's going to be good for me. I just scale these ones down a little bit more, 
just so they're not as big as the eyes are. So again, very customizable. You can always see, always change this to be a lot better for you. So then obviously as well, I might add some more in here. So I might just add one more like that. I've got the space now. And there we go. Now we're going to be adding the buttons. So I'm going to select the eye again, Control C, Control V. Just drag this one down. And if I press N, we're going to get this transforms up here. I'm just going to change the X to be zero again, so it's in the center. Oh, sorry, I need to make sure that I have the final sphere selected like that, and then put X there. Then G Z to bring it out to the middle like this. Again, press one to go into front view like this. I'll just bring this one up, scale it down a little bit or up, depending on how big you want it to be. If you want it to be bigger than the eyes, obviously bring it out. If you want it to be smaller or the same size, make it the same. And then Control C, Control V, G Z. Get that one up a bit. Control C, Control V, G Z. Maybe scale it up a bit as well, because typically you have the buttons getting bigger as you go down, like so. Obviously, if you've actually made a snowman in real life, this definitely helps a lot as well. So then I'm going to push these back into the snow like I have done before. So I'm just doing that by holding G and Y, or pressing G and Y, sorry. And there we go. We now have our buttons in like so. So that should be all the cold done. Next, I'm going to add a carrot nose. So to do that, I'm going to go Shift A, Mesh, and get a cylinder again. G, Z to bring it up. And if I hit R, X, 90, we're going to rotate it like that, and then just scale it down. And again, G, Y to bring it forward. Now just G, Z, scale it down again. So now we can have our nose position like that. Then what I'm going to do is S, Y to scale it on the Y like so, to get it a bit longer like that. And then I'm going to press tab to go into edit mode, face select, select that final face there, and just hit S and scale it down like that. And now we have our pointy carrot nose. Hit tab to go back into object mode, and we can just scale this up again, and move it further out like that. And now we have our perfect carrot nose that we'd want. And I think that's going to be a good position as well. Might just move this eye out a little bit more. Maybe just off center that a little bit, as like I say, it's not going to be perfect. So I think that looks good. Now, the final step is going to be to add the arms. Now, the way we're going to do this is we're going to be using a curve so we can get the twigs looking quite natural. So, what we're going to do is we're going to shift A, go down to curve, or go up to curve, sorry, and then bezier, or bezier, can't remember how to pronounce it. It's, kind of, it's a French word, but bezier curve there. Then, if we G, X to move it out, G, Z to move it up, R, X, 90 to rotate it like that and just GX to move it back towards there. Hit one and then find it like so. Now we have our curve like this. If we hit tab to go into edit mode, we can see how this is working and then we can edit this a lot more as well. So if we select this top thing here and then just R to rotate it and get something like this. Obviously don't have it perfectly straight as twigs aren't perfectly straight in nature either. So we give this a nice little bend like that. And then also what I'm gonna do is with this one still selected, maybe this one, shift D to duplicate, bring it up, rotate it, and I'm also just gonna hit E to extrude it. And now we have this other branch here. So we can have another twig coming off of this one. So it's not just gonna be one straight one. We're gonna have a nice little one, which you'd normally have for arms and fingers as well. So I'm gonna do the same thing, Shift D to bring one down here and just extrude this out like so. If you hit tab, you can see what this is gonna look like. So I think that'll be good. Obviously it doesn't look perfect. You can play around with this a lot more, spend a lot more time on this to get it looking a lot better and a lot more perfect for you. But I think for me, for the time being, this isn't too bad. But obviously that's made it a lot better already. Doesn't look too natural, too much like a twig, but you get the general idea. I'm also just gonna bring this one out a little bit like so. And then if I hit G and X, just to drag it out like this. Now by thinking that's quite thin, it's not really a twig. So what I'm gonna do is keep it selected. Over on the right down here, we're gonna go under this little curve thing here called Object Data Properties. We're just gonna change Fill Mode to Full, which it should be by default, but if it's not, change it to Full. And we're gonna open up the Geometry tab down here, and we're gonna increase the depth under Bevel. So increase the depth, and you can see we're now getting a nice twig stick like so. So I think that's good for me. So you can see we now have that basic twig there like so. I wanna scale this down a bit, move it further in, and then maybe even rotate it to be pointing up like that. And again, you can get this to look a lot better and a lot more natural for you but I'm just showing the basic way of doing it. Now we're gonna add one more for the other side. So the exact same way, Shift A, Curve, Bezier, G, X, G, Z, R, X, 90, like so. Hit Tab to go into edit mode. And we're gonna do the exact same thing. So we don't wanna just duplicate the other one as obviously you don't really find twigs that look the exact same in nature. So this is just gonna make this look a lot better, a lot more natural. And again, Shift D to duplicate that and then just get that to go down there like so. And then Shift D again. 
One final time, extrude that out by pressing E, and now we've got this nice looking twig here. See, that doesn't look too great, but again, you can spend more time on it to get it perfect for you. And then again, the exact same way, full, and just increase the depth on the bevel there to get this looking quite good. Now we have that there. Again, I'm just gonna move this up and rotate it like that. And there we have our sticks. So that's our basic snowman. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna texture this. So we can do this very simply as well. If we just select one of these, go into texture mode up here. So viewport shading, the second circle along, you can see everything is white. We're gonna keep that for the snow. Obviously, if you go down to the textures down here, so the little circle, hit new, call this one snow. So just change it from material I want to snow. And I'll leave the base color at zero. Change this to be slightly different if you want. So add a bit of gray to it if you wanted doesn't matter, but I'm going to keep this as creamy white. And if you select the other snowballs that you have as well, hit this little drop down menu here, select snow, control L, materials. So we're linking those other ones to the same material. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the hat and all of the coal, as I want these to all be the same color. If you want these to be different, put different ones on, but I want these to all just be black. So I'm just going to select all of these like so. You can hold shift to select multiple things at once. So I now have the hat and all of the coal selected. So I'm going to hit new on materials, Call this one to coal slash hat. Change the base color to just be straight black, like so. Again, hit control L to link and then link materials. No, that didn't work. So if we try that again, select all of these, it might be because we just created the material. So if we now try this again, set that to be coal slash hat, link materials. You see that worked a lot better that time. So now they're all black, like so. Then we want to change the carrot to be a nice little orange color. So we'll just select that, hit the new material again, this one carrot change the base color to just be nice orange like so so a nice orange carrot like that and then at the twigs the final one we need to texture hit the plus material again call this one twigs or sticks or bark trees anything you want and i'll just change this to be a nice brown color so i think that's going to be good i'll select the other one do the same thing press there and twigs material like that and now you can see we have our basic snowman and i think this is looking quite good so it's just a nice little low poly snowman that we've made very quickly in about 10 minutes. And also if you wanted to get rid of these kind of lines, so you might be able to see that you get these lines on here. Now they're not too visible at the moment, but you see here where we have the lighting like that, you can see a kind of grid on there. To fix that, what we're gonna do, if we just select these, right click, shade smooth, you can see that's now a lot smoother and it's more like snow and not a grid. So you just do that on anything that you want. So you can select everything that you'd want to get this grid off of. So that's probably everything. So just select it all, right click, shade smooth, and that looks a lot better already. And now you see it looks a lot nicer and a lot less gritty and poly and all that. It looks great now. So I think this works perfectly. And again, like I say, I might then implement this into Unreal Engine, make it into an AI, make it move about, stuff like that. But this is just a nice little snowman which you can use as just a little background in your games or in your models in your scenes, anything like that, you can just have this little snowman in here. And you can make multiple ones, just move around the buttons, maybe change the color of the hat, add a scarf, add gloves, anything like that, just to get it more customized for you. So this looks great. So I think now be this video is we've done everything we've wanted to do. We've created our nice little low poly snowman here. And like I say, you can fully customize this to be whatever you like. If you want, you can make your own, change how it looks, add a scarf, change the colors of it, and then you can add me on Twitter with it as well if you wanted, just to show it off and show me what you've done. And so if you wanted to do that, I'll put my at on screen now, and it is at Matt underscore Asplund. But like I say, that'll be on screen now, and I'll probably link my Twitter in the description as well. So you can just add me on there with this if you wanted. So thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you found it helpful. And if you did, make sure to like and subscribe down below. So thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.